Hey there, welcome back guys. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Mavic 3. Apparently there's an interesting update. If we check it out and scroll down, uh, not here, but if we go click on the little tab thingy and scroll down to the bottom, right? About, ah, right here, AR settings. Show AR home point, show AR return to home route, show AR um, aircraft shadow, which is really interesting. I'm intrigued to see what exactly this is. This is gonna be a night flight, so that hopefully we can see um, this feature on the drone. It says ambient light too low, which is okay. Okay, there we are, headed up, it's about 200 feet, it's a little foggy, but I can still see the drone, uh, let's see, that's forward, I don't really see anything Okay, so the drone's flying away, low visibility, which is fine, but I guess that feature might not be activated until we return home. All right, let's see, return home, uh, return home. Oh, so you get a little, little, um, oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. It's like, uh, kind of reminds me of Tron, the runway. Oh, wow. That is really cool. And the drone is right there. Now it's above me. And I guess it should be landing right about now. You can always override this once the drone, oh wow. That is so cool. It's literally landing uh, T on above me, like, like dead on. I'm just gonna click cancel. But that was really cool. I like that. Oh, look, and there's that, uh, I guess that's just me. But now I think I'm ready to land it. So that is a really cool update. I like that. So you can see the path that the drone is flying in as it's headed back to you. Um, and then of course there's another feature. There was another update. So that's that, I like that. Um, and then for, there was another, oh, I think that was in this setting here. Enhanced display. Um, original so I guess the original image that you took or take I didn't take any pictures would be more enhanced but this is really really interesting uh, when it comes to the update on the uh, Mavic 3 because let's see if I can go into my photos I took a screenshot of what exactly was being updated on this device and normally I don't do firmware updates but when I saw the um, update because normally it says uh, bug fix or minor bug fixes and you're like ah whatever you know I can I'll fix it one next time before I launch right okay um, DJI USB drive unsupported wow that's interesting wonder why um, this device doesn't support the DJI drive to use the DJI USB drive with this device, you have to set it up first. Okay, um, that's probably because I have the microphone set in. Okay, hopefully this is recording, so that's a minor glitch. And let's click on here for our, um, uh, see if it actually took our, the image that I wanted it to take. If I go to movies, pictures maybe? Nope, 
There's nothing. Images, screenshots. Great, so the screenshot is there. Yeah, so this is what we have for the update. Added assist, um, added, you know, you can pretty much read that there. Added AR, home point AR return, which is great. Added vision positioning and obstacle sensing switch. I'm a, a big fan of that. I never really used the obstacle avoidance and fix some minor bugs. Usually when there's an update, that's what it not always says. Um, I never do the ones, never do them because I never saw anything exciting or worth um, doing a video on. But this is phenomenal. This is really cool. Total game changer. Um, so you can see the drone as it's coming back. Hopefully, you know, as long as the coordinates are, are locked in as the drone is on its way back. Um, so I guess I'll have to set up the, uh, the, um, the receiver so that hopefully the um, USB-C drive actually works. And I keep trying to click on the X to get out of here, but it's not letting me. So that's a bummer right there. See that? So I guess I'll just swipe up. Let me just see what I can. So that's probably a glitch. See that? I'm clicking the X and nothing. So what you have to do is just quit it and go back. Normally you can go back that way or this way. And let's go back to Android again. So that's that. Yeah, so I'll have to tweak this a little bit. So it's using the internal storage when I actually have selected the other storage, which if you're not familiar how to um, set that, you basically go into your um, settings. I'll click that, go back. If it lets me go back, you can click storage and see it's set into internal. That must, this must be after the update. Um, something must have changed um, because I have it set to, let's see, you go back here to DJI Fly, then you go back and then you click on your icon and then you click on um, settings and then you click on storage. Uh, oh, it's set to SD card. So I don't know. This maybe for screenshots, that's where they go. Um, you can clear the cache, etc. But that, this is really, really interesting. Anyway, I'm going to experiment with this more, see what happens. I hope this video helped you and you're better able to have a more interesting return home experience with your uh, Mavic 3. And maybe this feature will be implemented on other drones too. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. And I'll see you all next time.